According to Rolling Stone, she is actually proud of the fact that she, quote, falls asleep right after Conan. Please welcome the star of the new film, The Sweetest Thing. This is Christina Applegate, everybody. Hi, Christina. What is this falling asleep after Conan? What is with you? What are you working? It's really late, dude. Yeah, I'm tell old. me about it. I'm Look, not they're young all up. anymore. It's only 1.30. It's not that I late. Know. God. I want to talk about Married with Children just for like a question. Okay. I'm sure you're sick of that, aren't How you? How many? Just questions? one just question. Just one question? 11 okay. years this show. We love this show. We grew up with the show. It's a hugely successful show on Fox. It was the flagship show. It was the show. True or not, when the show ended, they canceled you and didn't even throw you a party, not a phone call from the network, nothing. Nothing. I actually heard about the show being canceled from a friend of mine who had heard it on the radio. So that's how I found out. That is out. unbelievable. How did they... called me up and said, did you know your show got canceled? But that's one of the longest like, running really? shows, one of the most successful shows. It led the way for tons Not of even other... like a fruit basket. Like nothing, man. <laughs> Eleven years of wearing that damn skirt, and oh. I don't even get it. <laughs> what skirt? What do you nothing. mean you wore a skirt? I know, right. Sorry, that belt right. that I wore. That is clothing. unbelievable. You must be pissed God. off about that. I was pretty pissed off, right. yeah. You know, but then it was it was just sort of a bittersweet thing. It was it was time to go. You've been doing this so long from that show. Do you ever wish that you just kind of got into this just after the whole Kelly Bundy started later? In I don't acting? think I even just listened to what you just asked. What's me? wrong with you? <laughs> That's the worst thing a guest can say in the history of television. I, I think I heard you, but I don't think you know what it was. Just I'm before sorry. we started, her top was falling off. Yeah. Did sorry. you fix that? I'm very concerned with the boobage right now. That's okay. Sorry. It's doing, it's, what did you it's say? doing well. No, Never mind. I, I, it I'm just trying to understand the question. Wait, what did you say? I said you've been doing this your entire life. Yes. You're a child star gone okay <laughs> mentally, I right. think. Right, right. Was it, did you ever wish you just went to high school, went to college, right. partied, that, well, that's and then what started you just doing said? these movies? You said something else. That wasn't what you what just said. What planet are you from? <laughs> Yeah, you know what, I actually, yeah, there was a time where I really, you know, wanted to just be a kid, and, and I told my mom I don't want to act anymore, and I shaved all my hair off, and, right. you know, but I don't want to do this anymore. Right, at what and point did you fine. decide that television shows after Jesse and Married, that you wanted to stick with just the movies? Was that a conscious point? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was the schedule, really. I mean, the schedule on a television show is just... Gnarl burger, you know, it's like nine it's, months out of the it's year. It's gnarl burger? No, I'm a 30-year-old woman who still <laughs> speaks like I'm That's 16. That's hysterical. But, yeah, I just, I just didn't want the, it was like nine months out of the year. It's crazy, and this is much better. Right, Three plus... Three months, and then you can go hang out and have your life. Funny thing, she's in the movie The Sweetest Thing. It's out now. It's with Cameron Diaz and Selma Blair. The three girls got the cover of Rolling Stone. You've been on a whirlwind press tour before it came out. I would imagine this was one of the biggest catfights for a young actress in Hollywood to get any of the three roles. Who didn't get it? Me, no talkie. Me, oh, no talkie. Oh, come on, it's just us. I, really, I, I would hate there, to do that. True or not, I, there's some big names that are upset that you beat them out or somebody beat them out. Probably. Probably. Yeah, it was, it, was sort of, it was a script that everyone really wanted to do. I think a lot of women wanted to do it because it was, it was just an accurate portrayal of, I think, the way that women from 25 to 30 are. And we don't get to see that very often. Give me one hot actress that didn't get the part. I can't tell you, Carson. Just one. I can't tell you. Give me some initials. Oprah. Oprah did not get this <laughs> role. It's the sweetest thing, not the largest thing. All right. Oh, come on. Oh. Fabulous will be out in just a little bit. Don't worry about it. I can't believe you're not giving me a name on that. I can't. I well, maybe about, later I'll whisper I want to talk about Cameron Diaz for a second, and you mentioned Gwyneth Paltrow. These are two girls that have this perception, especially in movies, as we see them when we go, as like the it girl and so hot. Gwyneth sat right there, and that girl is just a, a filthy, trash-talking, she's a porn-loving, smut, midnight cowgirl, we called her. And it's true. And Cameron's the same way, correct or not? <laughs> porn-loving? Gwyneth said it here on the show. If you were up, you would have seen it. You what would kind of... What no, kind she did. She just loves porn, and she's like, I like porn. God, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to but talk not, to her about that. But they're not. They're not the, the prim and proper. We see them on no. all the shows, and they're That's perfect. That's why this movie is such a. It's such a good thing right now because it's a. It's about these women who just, you know, are just balls out. But. If, That's what I'm saying. So, you know. What is it about? Anyway, I'm confused about the sweetest thing. It's like this chick film, like uh, on the road, like coming it's, of it's, chicks. It's, no, it's like, I, I don't know if any of you are 25 to 30. But isn't there a stage in your life you go through where you start to behave like a guy for a little while because you're pissed off? 
I haven't even they're hit just, that stage like, yet. That's girls a scary that thing. Just have been burned, and they're they're coming into this place of their life where they start behaving like men for a little while because we're tired of getting hurt all the time. And that's basically what it is, and it's on this journey of finding love. Right. Because we're getting older, and it's time to settle down. Let me roll down a clip. The movie is The Sweetest Thing with Christina Applegate. It's in theaters now, and take a look. Well, the cook guy's looking kind of good, huh? Shotgun! <laughs> Cheater. What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. All right, there you go. <laughs> you guys know who that is, right? My hottie of a husband, baby. That's another thing that's got to piss you off. I've seen all the what? press, and that's like the clip I've seen with you and Jonathan, your husband, who's and in it. And it was just is that sort his only of scene? this improv, like, acting exercise thing that we did, which is kind of cool. Was that, just, was that his only scene? Yeah, that's his only scene. Hi, honey. He's here, right? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Uh, yeah. Uh, did you guys have a nice honeymoon? We, um, we didn't go on a honeymoon. Oh, now why? Actually, no. Because it was, you know, it was sort of after the whole thing that happened. And, right. 9-11, um, is that what you're yeah. talking about? Oh, you recently got married. Yeah, we recently got oh, married in October. Planned? So, um, we, we tentatively had one plan. They say you should do it sooner than later, because otherwise it's not a honeymoon, it's just a trip. I know, I know. We kind of messed up on that one. But we did get to go to New Zealand. Jonathan was working in New Zealand, so... I went to visit him. I heard he got pretty for... drunk in New Zealand. <laughs> I didn't get pretty... Jonathan and I, we... <laughs> Jonathan, did she get drunk in New Zealand on the bike or what? Am I crazy? We, 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 <laughs> we, we shared... We went and shared a bottle of wine at this vineyard. And we were... Um, Hold on, was it one we bottle of wine? Bought, we were, How many bottles of wine? One. Like... Each? Like big one, <laughs> <laughs> with giant bottle. And uh, we went, we went bike riding afterwards in New Zealand right. after this wine in the afternoon. And um, <laughs> again, we went telling this story. <laughs> <laughs> we were riding. Now they drive on the other side of the road. Okay, this is my excuse. Right. All right. They drive on the wrong. It's all sure. wrong. Sure. So we're riding along, and Jonathan's booking in front of me, and all of a sudden I heard this car come from behind me. And I swerved, and I, um, I fell down the hill. I fell <laughs> Just, what do you mean, down a the hill. hill. I literally hill? woke up. Basically, you came to came a to month later? Up, upside down, with my feet up towards the, the, the street. Right. Down there. And I guess I was laying there for quite a long time, and there was no husband. Like, no one there to rescue me hey, well, at where, all. Where, where was your husband? He didn't know I had fallen. He was like a mile up the road. <laughs> and apparently some truck pulled over and said to him, hey, are you with that girl? Oh, and he's no like, way. yeah, I am. And he goes, well, she's at the bottom of the hill. And then took <laughs> off driving. They didn't come and help me. Sure. The, the driver just drove by as I fell down the hill. Right. So I wake up or whatever. And uh, come to. I've got like bugs all over me. And you know, like I know, right? The Gross. sweetest thing. And trees in my hair. And right. it was awful. It's no wonder you didn't really go on awful. Uh, Christina Applegate Don't is here. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back bikes. right after this. No drinking and biking. Welcome back. The movie is the sweetest thing. We're here with Christina Applegate. We're going to get serious here for a minute. You and I share uh, something in common, a tragedy. Both of our mothers diagnosed with breast cancer. I've never met anybody actually else or really talked about it. Um, I'll hear your story in a second. First of all, how is she? She's great. She's amazing. Thank She's God. just so like mine. the strongest person in the world. Right. You and know? you don't realize that until something like this happens. I was at TRL and got a call that my mom was diagnosed. I lost my father to cancer, too. Oh, so here I am on the phone, so literally five that. minutes, you know, before, and you know, TRL's like, I can hear like 5,000 screaming teenagers, Ugh. and I'm getting the news, and I'm like, I gotta fly to California, and it was just this bombshell dropped on me, and the hardest part was to have to go there and act like, you know, you know, here's know. Brittany at three. You know, that's the it's hardest thing. It's amazing what we're expected to or, do, right? Or excuse me, at one, whatever it was that day. I know. I used to, I would have to, my mom was going through chemotherapy, and, you know, I mean, she lost all her hair, and it was just, it was really awful. It was very touch and go for a while there, and I was still doing Married with Children, so I'd have to go out there every Friday night. And oh, and be Kelly Bundy, that's laugh even worse. And do that when I'm, you know, waiting on the line to see if my, my you know, my mother's going to make it through this whole thing. It was really, it's really hard. It's a hairy, hairy sometimes experience. Sometimes it's difficult to be a, you know, a public person during... Right 
sad times in your life? I ended up learning a lot. Not, I mean, I, I'm probably like the next guy when I hear anything about a charity or anything like this. I, I, not that I tune out, but it's never been something, obviously, until it hits home. But it's surprising at, at, at the rate of like how many women have breast cancer and how common it is and how the, the positive side of that is, is how many recover and, you know, like a third of women can go and get a mammogram and it can come out bad, you know. I know. I, know. I, th I think it's just really important also for women just to please, you know, get your mammograms and do them regularly and, right. you know, because it's all about that early detection thing. I've actually become very involved in, in a lot of breast cancer and ovarian cancer right. organizations just, you know, because of my mom's request and, and it's, you know. We did the whole movie line, the scarf thing, which was really great. Right. My Tough manager your mom, and my mom too. Like did. I have this picture of my mom because I, I lost my dad. Like she's probably crying now. Like you know, just the strongest thing, you know, alive. And so for anything to sort of question that is just, it, it puts it all in perspective. It's amazing. Like, but your parents are not supposed to be going through yeah, that. Yeah, that's you what know? you think. You think they're just like uh, super parents or something. I know. Hard to deal with. But they are super parents, aren't they? they yes, they really are. Pretty what, amazing. What did you? I spent a lot of time like I, I play guitar. Uh, I'm, I'm horrible at it, but it was something that, <laughs> no, really, I play the same damn Oasis song over and over, and I suck at it. <laughs> um, but that was something that I did that helped me sort of get away from that and, and kind of get lost. Was there anything that you could partake in, especially being young? Yeah, besides, you know, a lot of prayer and everything. Um, I was a dancer most of my life, so my place of my expression and, and where I got all of my stuff out was... And dance class. Like time. modern like ballet, tap, jazz, jazz. and tap, and you know, the occasional like break dancing class. <laughs> That's when I was like 12 years old. I took break dancing classes. Did she say from break guy, dancing? From, yeah, from the guy you took a who class was on the Wonder Years. Not the, the, the older brother, Jason something. We have a brother. Uh, uh, he Herbie. Taught Jason Hervey taught breakdancing class. That's him right That's there. Yep. And you know that guy taught you how to breakdance? Yes. Yeah. And you know who was in my breakdancing class? River Phoenix and Rain Phoenix. Really? Yeah. It was just... You took a course was, in LA we learned how to breakdance? It was so lame. It was bad? <laughs> yeah. I mean, could you imagine a bunch of these little... Could you imagine like, 12 -year -old Christina breakdancing? That's I know. unbelievable. So, and I was not That's very good. Great. What are the odds but you'll do it for us tonight? But it's when you were a dancer at that time. You had to. It was like electric boogaloo time. Sure it was. Like break in two. <laughs> Flash dance. Come on. Remember Ladies. earlier remember earlier in the show when I asked you the really only good question I had tonight and you spaced out and forgot? Yeah. I think you owe it to me to demonstrate some break dancing when you were when you were trying. Yeah. And bust the move is right. And let me remind you, it is like 2 a.m. Nobody's watching. No, because your show's on E at 6. Oh, that's, even then, there's less. Am I really going to do this? Should she break dance or what? Seriously. I... Oh. <laughs> this might take a minute. All right, listen to me. I... <laughs> Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. <laughs> Help, I can't get this off. Get off. Okay. This could be the greatest thing that's ever happened on the show. In a sweatshirt. Okay, wait, now I gotta get in my B-boy. Hold on, I'm feeling it a little bit. We have any music? There you go, uh huh? There you go. All right. Now, how long? When was the last time you, you were breakdancing? Um, when I was 12. Okay, but you have to do it with me. No, no I, I won't do it. I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be that little like flavor flav dude that just cheers you on. You're doing it too. All right, you go first. <laughs> just I have to say, wait, I I'm really not good at this. It's all right. Make some noise. Get her going here. Come on, guys. She's gonna break now. Steve, put up that music just a little bit. Yeah, then we gotta clap along. Come on. Just do whatever you want. Just pop a little. Just you gotta do it. Christina, 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 Christina. <laughs> How cool is that? That she actually did it, right? Dude, you rule. For that, you will all go see the sweetest thing because you actually did that on the show and you're a sweetheart and we love you for it. Christina Applegate, everybody.
That was awesome. We'll be right back. Any fabulous fans who's gonna perform right after this? Christina Applegate, see the sweetest thing.